Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Maximus Black. And Nova War. And this is Will Cheese Fail. I think this is our seventh match now for Machinima. Machinima Episode 7. Yep. I'm going to say that sounds pretty accurate to me. Works for me. Works for me. Mr. Maximus Black. Yes, sir. Hit me up with a noise. <laughs> That sounded like you had something else, and then as soon as you started, you decided that that was not the right thing to do. It was definitely what happened there. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. I didn't, yeah. <laughs> I'm not even going to go there. I don't even want to know what the extra original was going to be. Yeah. I just, I felt like that was what was going to happen. All right, so here we are. We are on Metalopolis. Down here in the bottom position, we're looking at Gochi. You call him Gucci, man. Up here in the top position, we're looking at Golanka. Willy Wonka. All right, so we got Gucci versus... I'm going to call him Gucci. I'm going to call him Gucci and Willy Wonka. How's that sound? All right. Sounds good. It's good to me. So what if what if Willy Wonka wore Gucci? He, you know what? Actually, I feel like well, after watching that movie, he probably was wearing Gucci. He probably was wearing Gucci. Gucci. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely. <laughs> He's just rocking Gucci. So this is a PVT here on Metalopolis. Of course, this is Will Cheese Fail. We've yep. never seen this game. We don't know anything about it. We're just hoping on a miracle. This is you know, this is this is a cold cast day for us because uh, well, right outside of BJ's Clam Shacks, where you can get your best clams and BJ's, we are building uh, a very aggressive proxy barracks. Hey man, whenever that's the greatest name for a clam shack. By whenever the way. there's some racks. There's always oh, a BJ. Oh, racks outside the BJ's. Oh, hell, hell. Winning joke. Oh, I feel like we're in junior high all over again. And if you go actually just up the street from there, you can get a great cup of coffee at Adam's Cafe. Nice. Adam's Place, right there. Very nice. It's my place. I have several. I'm like Tim Hortons on every corner. If you go down the other bases, it's down the other side, too. Sweet. It's everywhere. Uh, so, uh, Gucci is rolling all up on Willy Wonka... He obviously knows something's going on because he's scouting this base. He did not see a racks whatsoever. No, he sees a supply depot and a in a refinery, and now a, a, wow, a second, a second rack. So okay. I, I can I can see him lifting this off and, and sticking that right in his base, and yeah. then just going right in with the marines. Yeah, we do have, still have a cybernex core up. It seems like he's not that worried. Is he going to be able to scout this out? I mean it. This is weird. I mean, he went into this base. He knows nothing's happening. He's still building very, very standard. Well, it's just very fortunate uh, for Gucci that he didn't scout in the opposite direction because yeah. he would have been spotted almost immediately. And Where he is bringing is he the barracks over. I think he's just going up on the side here in the corner. Uh -huh. I think he's going to land both of them in that corner and build a third because why not get greedy with how many barracks you're going to proxy? He should definitely be landing this and starting to... That should have been building Marines, Marines. yesterday. Yeah, Billy Jean yeah. should be moonwalking their way out of this Absolutely. a long time ago. Uh, he's going to find himself in a lot of trouble if he does not start building units. He's, he's doing great at proxying, but once a stalker comes out, uh, he's going to find yeah. himself in some trouble. In a lot of trouble. And it looks like William Wonka is just built what looks to be a four gate, really, is what it seems like uh, back at home right now. He's got a Zyler gateway. He's got three gates. He hasn't built a fourth yet. Maybe it's a three gate expand even. That would be even worse for him. Oh, uh, he's about and, to uh -oh. see it. And uh-oh. He's about to see he's it. He's about to see it. Stops for some coffee, gets a BJ and some clams, and look at that. We are looking at a whole bunch of wonderful barracks, and Billy Jean comes out and says, Hey, get back here with my coffee! <laughs> get back here with my coffee! His probe's going, oh shit, and uh, he's just running with this little patch of minerals. So he just kept going. So there, you're totally right, Adam. Yeah. There is a four gate. He's still sitting on full chrono. I'd like to see him, you know, chrono with that that warp gate. Yeah, the, a little more. He's, he's gonna he's gonna be about a solid minute late on that warp gate, unfortunately. And you know, he's playing it really, really calm. He knows all these racks are out here. He's still not building units. He's just gonna build. Well, he's a pylon. got a forge building right now and a pylon there. So I think his his idea is literally just build a cannon. What what about units? Who needs units? What? What good are units going to do when all sorts of marines are running in your base? Absolutely nothing. Oh, look, Four. a supply block. Oh, that's a that's a factory. A factory. This He's building his whole base. This isn't even a cheese. This isn't this even is a cheese. Straight up, I'm going to just build outside your base. He just decided to relocate. That's yeah. all it is. He just decided that, hey, who needs to build on a perfectly good plot of land when you can build right in the middle of, an, of a highway? Oh, and you know this proxy pile is going to be bad news for oh, the dear. Well, man later see, on. At this, at this point now, Willy Monka getting very smart. He's done his uh, front flip into standing up with his pimp cane and smacking a bitch all over the place with these cannons. Uh, and he's about to teach these, uh, these children down here not to play with the fizzy pop machine. I like that. I like that. 
Well, there goes uh, wasted uh, 150. I take plus everything whatever. back that I just said. Yeah, you know that was probably one of the worst pylon placements ever. I mean, you could have just went down here, and then there's 450 minerals completely wasted for no apparent reason. Getting all the way ballsy, putting a racks right in front of those stalkers. Takes out the pylon. He still has that high vision, but these stalkers are tearing a strip. And all these Billy Jeans, and here comes Ooh. three bobs working their way down here. And I think this is going to be game over already. This is a terrible game. Yeah, no, this is going to end very poorly because what's going to probably happen here is we're going to see all this cleaned up. And he's literally building his entire base outside of the base here. Uh, and we're going to see a warp cycle down at that proxy pylon eventually and just have some zealots walk in is what I feel like we're going to see happen. If not, maybe a stalker. There is one bob there already. Uh, and he's going to go down here and clean this up. Willy Wonka takes shit from nobody. No. No, he doesn't. You lose, sir! You lose! I wish I knew the whole scene to that, but that's the only <laughs> part I can remember. It's the only part of that I can remember. It might even be wrong. Well, but you know what scene I'm talking about, right? I know exactly right? what scene you're talking about, Adam. He's got, he's got his one, his half uh, magnifying glass there. It's a really weird and he movie. Re and he reads, you know, the, the rules off. Uh, and unfortunately, I can't remember it all. And, oh, look, Gucci! What's Gucci, man? You know what bothers me that that's become a term now? You know what bothers me? What bothers me even more is that it be means good and bad depending on context. Does it? I didn't know that. Yeah, well, what's Gucci? What's good? Oh, okay. And well, then, I knew that. And then, some, and then like Lil Wayne's using Gucci as a term for cheap. Or something stupid like that. Are you that. sure he's not talking about Gucci? No, uh, definitely not. No, that's a totally different... But that, that would also be cheap, depending on where you are. For instance, right outside of BJ's Clam Shack, the cheapest Gucci you find. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this game was like the pit of my ass. Um, you gonna finish that metaphor? No, it's just, that's it. It was just like if you were to Wait, literally metaphor or simile. I can't remember which one uses like. Uh, like is simile. Okay. Yeah. You gonna meta finish that simile? A meta. I think a meta metaphor is when you. Well, I guess they're yeah, the no, same. No, it's, it's just, just one same. uses like. Yeah, I'm pretty sure simile is the like one. And yeah. The metaphor. Is. I can't remember which one. Yeah. Which. No. No. It's actually. Welcome this. to English class with Life's a Glitch TV, oh, bringing you the finest English in the world, such as what's Gucci, man.